Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is my Tinkercad toolbox. A user asked for a hammer, so my friends, let's get cracking. My favorite part of this type of project is there's probably a hammer somewhere in your house or with a friend that you can pick up and actually check out as we create the model. So I'm going to begin by taking our current shapes and I'm going to hide them so we have more room to build. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is bring out a cylinder and drop it in the middle. Let's hit that fit view so we can zoom in. Let's make it totally round. Let's change the bevel to 1.35 and let's change the segments to 9. I would like to change the hidden piece of this from 20 to 18. The next piece of the puzzle needs to be attached right here, so let's put the work plane on and let's go find ourselves a polygon. When you bring out the polygon, we want to make it 40 long. And then let's make sure it's aligned by grabbing the two pieces and doing a line and choosing middle and middle. Often I find it's easier to see those two corners by looking like that. When I'm looking at the front of my hammer, I want a flat edge here. So click it once and we need to rotate it 90 degrees and then you'll have the flat edge facing the front. If you click front on your view cube, you'll be able to see that is really flat with our hammer head. We are going to cut the ring with the torus. When you bring the torus out, notice I had it at this exact height. That does not hurt anything. I want you to make it a hole, and then the numbers I want you to type are 12, and I want you to type 4 for the tube. Instead of 24, I want you to make them 12 and press Enter. I want you to select those shapes, click Align. Let's click on the blue one and make sure that we choose the middle. Notice I'm going to go to those corners, see how easy it is to select that. And then I'm going to look at it from the front so I can select that middle, which it already had. I'm going to change this height to 15. And then I'm going to do control down to move it till it's close in the middle of those two parts. When I'm happy with where I've got it, I'm going to grab the three parts and group it. And my friends, you have just created the front of a hammer like it was hammering a nail. Up here, we're going to add the tail end or the claw of the hammer. Click your work plane and bring out the wedge. I'm going to switch to the side view. And we want this wedge to be the exact opposite. So when you click the flip tool, we want this one in the back so that the tail is down below. When we click on our shape, we need to change some measurements. I want this to be 35. We need to take this measurement and make it 17. And let's do a line and see how good that looks. If we make the orange the master and tell it center and center, you can see that lines up smooth with the top and bottom. And we're close on the sides. Let's grab those three shapes and let's make them a group. First, I'm going to put the work plane down on the ground. If you ever can't see your work plane, I've noticed the scroll wheel allows me to bring that work plane button back. It's time to cut the curve of our claw, and the first thing is to put our work plane right here. Let's bring out a round roof and put it right on that shape, and let's rotate it 90 degrees, make it a hole, and then use the flip so that the curved side is in. Notice if we hit the angle, it's a lot easier to see the one that makes that flip happen. I'm going to click back on my shape, and we need to change some measurements. Let's make this one 45. Now let's rotate it 10 degrees. Notice I have to come all the way out here so I can go one degree at a time. And then just use the arrow keys to nudge it down. And then use control down to stick it in so that it's going to make that hook. Notice I'm bringing the claw out to that very edge, and I'm leaving a tiny bit so that my claw has a little bit of strength. I'm going to do control up and go one more out. I want to be a little closer than that, so I'm going to change to 0.25. And I'm going to just nudge it until I got the exact combination I want. When I think it looks pretty cool, I'm going to grab those two objects and group them. And there is our sweet hammer claw. Remember when you hit the work plane button, it changes color. And if you can't see that place to click, just roll your scroll wheel. Let's use a really cool technique to smooth these edges. 
I want you to find the work plane and click on that edge that we need to cut off. Bring out a whole cylinder. We need to make this as round as can be. And I want you to take it and lay it on its side. Notice I'm looking at it from an angle so that I can find this shape. And then I need you to stretch it out and squish it down. I'll let you pick how much, but you can see when you slide that out there, it covers that corner. And when you group those two pieces, you have just trimmed that edge pretty darn neat. I like that. That's going to be close enough. I'm going to move over to this side and do the exact same thing. Once again, bring out the whole cylinder, squish it down, stretch it out, rotate it 90 degrees. Notice it's not on that work plane anymore, so I'm going to hit D to drop. It cuts into it nice, but I do want it to be super smooth. When I group those two pieces, we have just smoothed that side of our hammer as well. Let's do the same thing underneath super fast. You could take time to have all these numbers be perfect, but I think this is going to look pretty sweet even if we don't. Super round, stretch long. Notice that one goes a little further, so I'm going to pull it out a little further. And then when I group those two, I can move to the last side and do the same thing. Work plane. Click on that spot, bring out that hole. We want to flip it this way and turn it into something longer, flatter, and thinner. Make it totally round, select the entire thing, and group to create that sweet cutout. I'm going to get my work plane back down on the ground. There's my edge, and friends, you've got the hammer almost done. Let's lay it down, and let's drop it to the ground so we can quickly cut out the claw. We're going to do that with the green roof. We're going to stand it up 90 degrees. Once again, you can type the negative 90. Do D to drop it to the ground, and let's change our numbers like this. Let's make this number 10. Let's make this number 15. And let's make it a hole. I'm going to select the two pieces, choose a line, click on the orange to be the master, pick center, and I'm going to pick back. When you see that, notice it's a little wide, or I think it's a little wide. So I'm going to change that to 8 and do a line one more time as I center and group the hammerhead. Let's make it hammerhead colors. And then I'm going to lift it up in the air quite a ways. And I'm going to make a handle. To do the handle, I'm going to bring out another cylinder. I'm going to make it oblong. You can pick any numbers that you think look like your handle. Stretch it up crazy far past. Make it a handle color. Select the two of them. Click Align. Center. And if you want center, you may look at that and think that it needs to be further forward. Those are options you can adjust. I'm going to raise the hammer further up. If you remember my hammer, it actually stuck in just a little bit. I'm going to have that sticking out. And once again, one last align to make sure that I've got it in the center. Group. And turn on multicolor. Really quickly, friends, I want to send a thank you out to the user that said, Hey, can you create a hammer? And I also want to send a thank you out to Larry Yaw. He actually sent me a hammer that he designed really quick when he saw that post, and it made me a lot faster when I was creating this project. If you haven't ever watched, Larry is the creator of a sweet Volkswagen van, and I've got a designer showcase that you can check out up above if you want to see how that was created. Once again, friends, don't forget, if you make something epic and you want to share it with me or somebody else, you can copy a link from the send to and you can send it to them on your favorite messaging app. If you want to contact me, you can use Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I am HLModTech on all of those. You can also send me a Gmail. I am HLModTech on Gmail as well. Lastly, you can visit the HLModTech.com website and you can use the messaging app there. 
Of course, friends, too, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.